Hi everybody, I'm here. I'm doing another haul video. I'm excited because I picked up um, the Simple Stories, Snap Life. Um, you'll hear me talk about how something is on my list and I've been trying to just focus on things that I was really excited about when I saw Summer CHA. And this is one of the items that I was really excited about. Now, I do already have their binder. So I didn't pick up any of the new binders that I saw. This is from Archivers. Um, now I will say that the retail price at Archivers was $20.99. And for some reason, I thought that um, the Simple Stories, you know, 12 by 12 collections were usually $17.99. But maybe I'm getting that mixed up with Echo Park, or maybe it just went up in price. I don't know. Anyway, um, really, I love Simple Stories, and I love the colors that they used. Um, I just think it's really cute. Now, I don't particularly like how a lot of the things are double-sided. So, uh, I guess, although... I suppose the idea behind it being double-sided in terms of the papers is because you put them in the photo sleeves, then you'll be able to see both sides. So, anyway, the transparencies I love, and I just noticed you actually get double, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. Other designs probably would have been cooler, but um, I don't know. They're cute. Like, instead of, like, I didn't need, I got, because if you're going to cut them out, why do you need two? So, I would, it would have been nice to have different designs instead of two. So, basically, you only have three designs and two of each. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. These little cameras are really cute, and I like them. Although, I do wish people would come up with some new cameras, because I'm getting kind of tired of looking at them. Um... These little Polaroids, I think that's adorable, especially to cut that out and put it in the middle of the page. So that's really cute. This is cute because I love to do um, small photos because a lot of times I print at home and then I love cutting those up. But again, see, what if you want to use the other side? So I don't know. Um... I do kind of wish that um, maybe instead of having, this is so cute, but then this is on the back side. So I'm like, crap. Um, and I'm not buying any more paper, so whatever. I guess I just had to choose the side that I liked the most. But it would have been nice if these had been on one side and then the flip side had have been um, one of their pattern papers, if that makes sense. So, this is another sheet, and I love these sheets so much. But again, unless you're going to put them in the pocket page so you can see them on the other side. I don't know. But, anyway, I do like them. So, like, September. Okay, so see how this is. You could use that one, but then what are you going to do if you need September? Hello. Again, unless the flip side is going to have to be this one if you put them um, in page protectors. So, yeah. And maybe that's how they want it, or maybe they want you to buy another sheet of paper. I don't know, but I'm not buying any more paper. These are so cute. Love that. So see, perfect, 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 perfect. That's all you have to do. So now I can cut them up and put the pattern paper on the other side. Now I just need everything else to be like that. But it's not. Okay, so these are really cute. And you can cut them all up. But I like this one, so I probably would not do that. This I like, and you can actually cover some of these with smaller, I don't know if that's, that's not 4 by 4 that's probably 3 by 3 Love that. Would have been nice to use. Um, so anyway, you get like six of these sheets of paper. And this one, I love all calendar sheets. 
so cute. And then you also get this sticker sheet. Love that one right there. So those are cute. More little photo sticker sheets. Those are cute. You could probably put those on um, little cut down 4 by 6 cards or Project Life cards. I love the script of the months. Those are cute. Not sure what I'm going to do with all these numbers. I guess you could put them if you were making a calendar or something. I don't know. I didn't notice that. That's kind of strange. Um, but I do like these. That's cute. Numbers. I, Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, these are cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So, at Archivers, if you spent $25 on the new Snap products, then you got um, a free 6x6 pad. So the free 6x6 pad is this one, which I actually really like. Um, mostly because I love, like it has calendars. This is just a graph. I don't know if you can see it. Graph, subtle graph print. And I just love ledger lines. Now this paper is kind of thin. Um, and I don't know. I mean, I guess the downside is that it is so thin. But the upside to it being so thin is the fact that um, it would be really easy to punch out. I think I've seen this one already, but they're cute. And that's cute. So I was glad that I didn't pick up another one of their 6x6 um, six six paper pads. Because I don't know how much they retail for, but that one was really cute. So this one I really like. Um, and I think it's really versatile. And I did pick up just one of the 4x6 snap cards. I mean, you could go, you know, super crazy buying all these little tiny um, add-ons. And they're two-sided, which is nice. I thought this one was the most versatile. Because usually I arrange my 4x6 like this. And I can also stick it in to my Project Life um dividers already. That's so cute. So cute. So, so cute. So that was cute. Um, like I said, and this retailed for $4.99, which is, I don't know, a little bit much. So imagine trying to buy like three of those plus the 6x6 pad plus the 12. I mean, it can get a little crazy. So just so you know, but that one I like the best. And then, as I mentioned before, I already had one of the binders, which I have yet to use. So I thought that of all of the designs that they had, I would just get the multi-pack, which has the 3x4s in the vertical, and then a 4x6. And then that one is like the little strip design, if you can see that. And then 3x4s, and then a... 6 by 8 is the standard size. And then that's two 4 by 6s So, and you get 10 of these. Because I was already in iCarvers and they had a lot of new stuff. Especially the um, Amy Tangerine line. Which, I think I showed you some Amy Tan stuff before. But this, my local scrapbook store, did not have the 6 by 6 pad. So I picked up the 6 by 6 pad. Because I love 6x6 pads, but I did not realize their 6x6 pads, or at least um, the American Craft. I don't know why the price is going up, but when I looked on the back, I was like, crap, why was my total so high? And it's because theirs is $6.99. I'm like, what's up with that? Um, so, yeah. I mean, I don't mind, I don't know why, it's like $5.99 seems, $4.99, $5.99 seems okay, but especially when it's not double-sided anyway, although you get 36 sheets, so, I don't know, might start to slow down my 4x6, um, I mean my 6x6, six six, but I love this paper right here, love, 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 love that one. So that's how it looks in the smaller scale. And like I said, I have love that one and this one. Really half the time I buy it just because of these right here. 
love those. I love cutting those up. They're so cute. Um, I'm not sure what's up with that one, but they're cute. So, I was happy to find that one. Then, um, these are the journal cards from Studio Calico, and it says that you get 12. And it's a combination of, I hate the sticky papers, it's a combination of 3x4s, and it's kind of thin, kind of reminds me of like ephemera, kind of has like a little kind of glossiness to them. That's interesting. Okay. We've seen this one before. So that's what's in there. So it's kind of like their basic line. Basic Studio Calico Basics. That was one. And this one... Let's see. I bought two of them. So this that one was called... I don't know what it's called. But that's what it looks like on the back. I thought that one would be the most versatile. And then, so these retail for $2.99. This one, it looks like it's their Christmas one. I don't know if I'm going to do December Daily. I like make these elaborate December Daily albums and then I don't finish them. Because honestly, they're like the same pictures every year. <laughs> Except the kids are bigger. <laughs> That's all. So... I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. That's cute. Um, so yeah, this is a little thin. yeah. thinner paper. It's glossy, so I don't, I don't know about, you know, how you would alter them. Because there is a bit of a glossy feel to them. I like, like, paper paper. So I don't know what's up with that. I guess you could, you know, I don't know if you're going to, I don't know if you can stamp on them. So I'll have to try that out. In writing as well, because like I said, there is, see, there's a glossy sheen to this paper. Yeah. Archivers had the Dear Lizzie line, and what I thought was really cute about their line, these are the die cuts. And I love, love picking up die cuts. The house is so cute. Now again, I am noticing... That some of this papers are getting a little thin. I don't know. Tell me what you know if, if you bought some of these papers. This is so pretty. That flower is pretty. Love that heart. Keith. She has a whole paper with this one. It looks kind of like watercolored. So that's a cute idea. You could actually do that yourself. Those are cute. Cute, cute, cute. They're very easy to stitch over. And you get quite a few, actually. I don't know how many are in here. Love those little tickets. Love that house. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, like I said, the colors are just kind of muted, soft. Like this is a seafoam kind of color. That looks like you stamped it. Cute. These little tiny tickets. So I think of all of the embellishments, these are definitely some of my favorites. I really kind of want to like make some. I think that'd be so cute. This is cute and a fun idea. That cute little number two. You could, of course, cut that out with your silhouette yourself. But anyway, that's cute. So this one, I don't know. This is like definitely one of my new favorites. 